like that. Oh, um, makes me feel safe. Oh. Do you know what's going on? Just as much as anybody. I guess that's not much. No. Did you want to talk about it? Not really. I remember the day like it is sitting on my bottom lip. Tender and tasty and filling me for no need of tomorrow. The earth holds our secrets as we abandon them. It's the last thing he read before he went on his run. I'll meet you outside. I taped over the last few seconds and added some of my own cheers. Thank you so much for doing this, Bennett. It's nothing. When you're famous, maybe I could produce some of your records? That would be thanks enough. Of course. Hey, I have to get back to Daddy. He's uh, not feeling well today. Hey, wait, I, uh, I got you something. Bennett. I found it in a junk shop in Toronto, and I knew you'd love it. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe you found one of these things. Thank you so much, Bennett. Well, I, I, I better get back to Daddy. Bye. Bye, Steffi. Hey, Steffi. Uh, I was just wondering. I mean, I, I'm sure someone probably already asked you, but would you like to go to the Sweetheart's Ball with me? Oh, Bennett, I would. I, I really, but... I don't think I'm gonna be here. I mean, if this works out for me. Of course. Yeah. And I just know you'll get in. Thanks. Of course it's bullshit, that's why it works. Darren, we don't have the staff capacity to launch an interactive web portal where thousands Help of people can log bro, on. I'm if... India! Are you even listening to me? Hey! Marlene has a problem. Uh, yeah. For some reason, I'm taking direction from an arrogant ginger half my fucking age. The problem is, her life is a piece of shit, Darren. What? Because every day Marlene wakes up and all she can see is the terrible TV, the dirty air, the grinding economy, and the fact that she has to sweat her little heart out every day just to afford her crappy condo mortgage. Maybe. Marlene would feel better about her life if she had an ounce of hope that one day it would change. Oh wait, she does! It is a fabulous, stress-relieving patch! Online interactive product launch. My father's gonna kill me. It was you that was in a relationship with Miss Woods. And you murdered Miss Glass to conceal the fact that you had murdered your own sweetheart. Why? Why kill your own sweetheart? I don't know. You loved her. But I am told that you fought frequently. Yes. I know you smothered her. But... Uh, where did the blood come from that covered her dress and the handkerchief that was found at the scene? Because it wasn't her blood. I can't recall. Not something one would easily forget. While I was smothering her, she threw her head back and it struck my nose. I used the same handkerchief to stop the bleeding. It's 
It's getting late anyways, and tomorrow's our biology exam. Fine. Fine, you know what? You go home. You study. Pussies. Mine. Hand it over. Huh? <laughs> 